This is Pua. She's a pot belly pig. She was named after the Disney movie Moana. And she's one year old. Today, Pua will show you five free things you could do at Colonial Williamsburg. The first thing you could do for free is to roam the streets. While you're walking the streets, you can read up on the history of the buildings. Every building has placards that tell you about the building, the year it was built, who used it, and what it was used for. Each tradesman has their own separate building. Aww, Pua, you really love babies and seashells. You could learn quite a bit about the colony while you explore. And get a good feel for the way the colony functioned back then. I love these old beautiful buildings. They are so pretty. Hopefully if you are lucky along your walk, you might run into Thomas Jefferson or one of the other nation's founders, just like we showed you in the last video. The second thing you can do for free is visit the four stores and do some shopping. They are all located on Duke of Gloucester Street. This is the John Greenhouse store. This was the traditional general store of the colony. You could buy anything from fine imported porcelain, leather, pewter and tinware, to feather ink pens, and snacks and drinks. Yummy! You could try some non-alcoholic ginger beer here. This is the Tarpley Thompson & Company store. It's a fancy store. It has traditional colonial clothes, hats, and wigs. It also carries jewelry, soaps, and lotions. I bet you really feel like you're back in the 18th century with one of these outfits on. Oh, how beautiful! I would love to wear one of these fancy dresses. You can get measured here if you want to custom order an outfit. This is also where you can come to rent a costume for the day but they are currently suspending rentals because of the COVID restrictions. These soaps smell amazing. This is the William Pitt store. It has colonial children's toys and games. It also has some modern day souvenirs like t-shirts and mugs. There's also the Prentice store, which wasn't open on this day. That store carries 18th century gifts like leather goods, iron hardware, furniture, coins and buttons, and papers, inks, and seals. Their leather-bound books make beautiful journals. The third thing you can do without purchasing a ticket is to dine at one of their two restaurants, the Chowning Tavern or the King's Arms Tavern. Pua is showing you the Chowning Tavern right now. It has a colonial-inspired menu and offers specialty beer. The King's Arms Tavern is open for dinner only and requires a reservation. It's a refined chop house and serves things like salads, prime rib, and seafood. If you go there, try the peanut soup and the colonial game pie. Just FYI, sometimes the wait list is very long here at Chowning's. So you could also grab a bite to eat at the Chowning Cider Stand or grab a sandwich at the Raleigh Tavern Bakery. The fourth thing you can do is visit the actual jail where Blackbeard's Pirates were held in 1718. So cool. I love pirates. The fifth thing you can do for free is watch the guards fire a musket. Don't worry. 
Harry, who didn't even flinch when the gun was fired. Top position, this is for my safety. If I pull that trigger, nothing happens with it. Reach around this cartridge box. You'll pull out one round of ammunition. Powder and balls wrapped up in this paper here. Of course, no musket ball today though, just black powder. Take this cartridge up to my teeth and tear open the cartridge. You pour a little bit of powder right here into the pan as a priming charge. Shut the pan, it's gonna secure that charge in place. Turn it around, the rest of that charge is poured down the barrel like such. Musket ball paper will go in as well. Then take out the rammer, ram down the shot. Then put the rammer back. All that be done in 15, 20 seconds. Now to fire this, there's gonna be three commands to it. Make ready, take aim, fire. On the command take aim, I just want to suggest you cover your ears, and I'm going to warn my friend on the other side of the wall that I'm about to fire with this little rattle here. I think he's going to fire the gun, Will. <laughs> Break! Break! Take it! In the next episode, Pua shows you five more free things you can do at Colonia Williamsburg.